today is scammer destruction. Look at all the icons going away on our screen because the files are deleting and we're gonna try to go into our camera. Lately, it's been a lot of investigating scammers and saving victims, but this call, we're just going in and destroying a scammer. So here's the plan. I'm gonna give the scammers a little taste of their own medicine. You know, manipulating them just like they manipulate their victims. You can just call me mom. Can I call you mom, really? Yes. Oh, that would be, that would be wonderful. The other thing that these guys like to do is sit behind their little computers and collect all your personal information. They share it, sell it, and use it to scam you out of your own money. So we're gonna access their system. And for those of you in the comments that say we need to go after System 32, we're doing it today. We're gonna tear down their system file by file until the computer completely crashes. It's time for some scammer payback, baby. Let's get into it. Thanks for calling support. This is Dennis Matthews, how can I assist you? Yes, my name is Mary Swanson. I have an email from VeriSign. Who's VeriSign? Mom, I don't know this. It says, Nortron Secure, powered by VeriSign. Thank you for your renewal service. The account statement for your $369.88. Please contact our service customer service department if you require assistance. So ma'am, this charge is made for the Norton Renewal Services, Norton Lifelock Security Program. I understand that it's for $369.88, right? Yes, if you could just call me Mary, that would be nice. All right, Mary. Mary, can you please help me out with the invoice number? Yes, I can. All right, ma'am. So just stay on the line. Oh, no, it's Let Mary. Me not, it's Mary. You, Mary. Yes, Mary. Just stay on the line. Just let me go ahead and check this up for you, okay? Okay. Ma'am, are you there? Mary, are you there? Yes. What the crap? Thank you for support. This is Kate. How may I help you? Yes. Hi, Kate. Um, my name is Mary Swanson. Um, I was just on with a gentleman. Um, I gave him my invoice code. I don't know if you guys were having any load shedding or something, but I had gotten disconnected. I apologize for that, ma'am. So um, can you confirm me the amount you have received on the invoice, ma'am? Yes. Your name was Kate? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm sorry for asking again. It's $369.88. Okay. So, um... What cell phone do you own? It's an Android or an iPhone? Um, a Motorola. Motorola chocolate. Okay. So these orders is being placed by some third party by using your information. Seems like your information is being compromised. Are so you that's serious? Why, yes, ma'am. That's why you have uh, you have been notified through the invoice from the PayPal okay, server. Okay, well, I thought I was going to be getting my money back. Definitely, you will get your uh, full refund back. Because okay, well, how do I do it, that, it, honey? It's I'm, I'm sorry, by the way. I'll help you out. I am sorry. It's okay. Let me help you out here first and secure or verify your identity. Okay, what you have to do, you need to follow the steps exactly which I'm guiding you on your Motorola cell phone. And I'm so sorry, your name you is Courtney? Your, your name sir. is Courtney? No, it's Kate Carter. Oh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, ma'am, put me on a speakerphone first. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, now, I'm sorry. you can go back. Please don't be sorry. It's okay. You, do you do you have a tablet or or any smartphone? I have a computer. Oh, what computer is that? It's a Hewlett Packard. Uh, I got it. I got it. Okay, ma'am. Now uh, go to your computer, please, and open up Google in your phone. Google. Oh, Courtney, or, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't everything. have a Courtney. I don't have a browser on my phone. I have a Hewlett Packard desktop. No, no, no. Go to your yes. That's what I'm saying. Go to your Hewlett Packard desktop computer. Oh. And turn it on. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I yeah. um, my son used it's to tell right. me I was an idiot all the time. <laughs> Please don't say bad words about yourself. It just you're not computer savvy, and and that's why I'm sitting here to help you out. Correct. Okay. So I have my desktop. You want me to push the button on? Yes, ma'am. Push the button on and turn on your computer. Oh, 
This thing just sparked my finger a little bit because I wear fuzzy socks around the house. So I guess that maybe some type of electrical charge was in my finger. You're so, so funny, Maddie. Oh, thank you. So the scammer gets me to download AnyDesk, which is a remote access tool, and typically they can go in and see the victim's computer and do anything that they want. Now, little did they realize that they were connecting with me and being on my virtual playground where I make the rules and they don't. Okay, you can't see whenever my screen. Whenever you do anything, okay, I cannot. Well, I can so see whenever yours. Whenever you do anything important, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what if I could see your screen? You, you know, that would be crazy. Um. It would honestly be crazy. Once we've reversed the connection to the scammer's computer, just like we've done here, we'll try to download files from their system. Things like information on the scammers that we can expose, or even information on past and current victims that we can help. Here we find a music file that is being played on the scammer's computer called Puda Jane, which means God only knows. Once we have the information that I want, we're going to use it against the scammer and try to scare her. Now do one thing, Mary. Go to log into your online banking first. I sent you one dollar from PayPal. Click on Google Chrome icon. Yes. Okay, did that. Now, now what? type your bank name. It's Chase. What's your Are bank you familiar name? with Chase Bank? Uh, definitely, I am. You can't see this, can you? Not really, Mary. Okay. Oh, you can just call me mom. Can I call you mom, really? Yes. Oh, that would be that would be wonderful. I lost my mom in 2018. Oh, I'm sorry. That's actually really sad, to be honest. But, um, <laughs> no problem. I'm really uh, I lost my mom as well in uh, 2009. No problem. Uh, we both are at the same point. Yes. You know, she used to sing uh, Kuda John to me. Kuda John. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's let let let's not uh, get emotional because I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> I know. She used to okay. sing uh, and... Bach. It was Bachna e Hasino. That was the song she would sing to me. <laughs> John. Okay, Mary, let me, guide you here. <sighs> let me guide you the steps here, okay? Kuda Jane. Do you know what that means, honey? Do you know what Kuda Jane means? <laughs> no. It means no, God not knows. Really. It means God knows. Okay. Real quick, guys, I want to share with you a tech tip from our security partner over at NordVPN. In cybersecurity, hackers will use information against their victims in order to score the data that they want from you. For example, let's think specifically about Wi-Fi connections. Let's say you're at Starbucks, you want to surf the web, so you look for Starbucks Wi-Fi and you click on it. But little did you know that there's a hacker across the street that created a spoofed network and they can actually watch everything that you're doing and store all the data that you're inputting into whatever website you're using. Now this type of man in the middle attack that the hackers are using wouldn't necessarily be a problem if you were just encrypting your traffic. NordVPN uses lightning quick servers and with just a single click, you're connected. Your traffic is encrypted, your IP is hidden, and your data is safe. I utilize these guys on my phones and at home and even when I'm fooling scammers, they're on my VMs and my hosts too. So head on over to nordvpn.com slash pierogi guys. There's an exclusive four month free offer. It's risk free. There's a 30 day money back guarantee as well. You can protect yourself and your internet traffic from these types of man in the middle attacks. Be safe, be protected nordvpn.com slash pierogi. Now let's get back and see if we can troll Kate a little bit more. Are you there, Mary? Yes. I need your attention. We are at the verification process right now. Okay. Do okay. you see on the very top left corner, yes. there is a three horizontal lines. Please click on that. Okay, I did that. Now what? You will get some of the options. What options? Really? Don't worry guys, we are going to get back on the phone with Kate, and I'm sure that you all saw that she had some connection problems, and I noticed that too, so I started to get a little bit worried that I would lose connection to her. So before we lost access, I went to the root drive of C, and I deleted everything. Now with the correct rights and privileges, hopefully that's got system 32 in there, 
which would render her system completely useless. She can go and resort to backups and re-imaging the system and windows and all that, but even if for a day we stopped her, it's a win, so she's not scamming anybody. I hope that uh, they don't go to Zell because I didn't do the Zell update on this. There's like 457,000 files that it's trying to delete, but with permissions and stuff like that, it might not work. I can't escalate my privilege. Let me see here. Oh, maybe I can. Up, 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 up. There we go. She's using text now. She's calling me. Hello? Yes, this is Mary Swanson. Hi, Mary. This Hi. is Kate Carter. Hi, Kate. We got disconnected. I don't oh, know what happened. I'm sorry. Is it something I did? <laughs> Not really. Okay, now start typing in there, Chase. Chase.com, right? Yes. Do you see some options? It says quick pay with Zelle. Click on that. It says quick pay quick with Zelle. Quick pay Zell. with Zelle? What is Zelle? Yes. What is that? Zelle is the server app of PayPal that okay. we use for verifying customer identity. So click okay. on it. All right. One I'll second. You. Look at all of her icons mm -hmm. going away. Look at all the icons going away on her screen because the files are deleting. Remember how she had icons on the toolbar, on the taskbar? All the icons are starting to go away because the files are vanishing over time. Did you click on it? So now I've hidden her input so she can't click on anything. And we're going to try to go into her camera. Did I? Um, hello? Did I lose you, Kate? Hello? Yes. Can you click on quick pay with Zell? A quick pay? With Zell. Um, I can try. Click on that. Okay, one second. Just leave, leave the computer. I'm just, I'm trying to click on it on my. Hello. 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 Dang, they gave up. I'm going to call them back. I'm going to call them back and play the song. This is the song that they had, that she had downloaded. Right, I'm going to call her back. I'm going to call them back. So I called them back, and just like every scammer that's been owned, they pretend like Kate's not there, or else I've called the wrong number. My name is James. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, James. I'm actually looking for Kate. Is Kate still there? Sir, I'm speaking now. Uh, I know that now. But like, I'd like to speak with Kate, nah? This is Kate. You're not Kate. I'd like to speak with Kate, nah? Jaldi Caro. Nah? Now I'll have to call them again sometime, but I'm pretty sure Kate probably has taken the day off, just like her computer. This has been Prairie with Scammer Payback, saying don't get scammed. How many people are going to tell us that's the wrong spelling? It's a toss-up. Is it like, is it going to be people like, well, did you really delete System 32? Or is it going to be, that's the wrong there? <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy.